started approaching Hussein asking his permission to go and fight. They all started fighting and getting killed until Al Qasim, son of his brother Hassan, approached his uncle asking permission to go and fight. Hussein at first did not allow his nephew to go, but after Al Qasim insisted, Hussein saw in his eyes how badly he wanted. Hussein gave him his blessings accepted. Soon they brought him back to the camp dead. Hussein laid him beside his son Ali and started mourning both of them. Soon Hussein left with his brother Al Abbas. Al Abbas, son of Ali, was known as the greatest warrior in Arabia and mirrored the strength of his father. Al Abbas went to his brother carrying his sword, asking his permission to go to the field and get water for the children. Hussein said, Brother Abbas, you are the leader of my army and the carrier of my flag. You will leave me alone to all this enemy. After Abbas insisted, Hussein permitted him to bring water to the fountains. Al Abbas approached the camp, bidding farewell to all of his siblings. His sister Zainab stepped forward, looking in his eyes, hugging him for the last time. Al Abbas and Zainab had a special relationship. Not like any regular brother and sister, he was her guardian and protector, just like his father had asked of him. He then hugged her and told her that he'll always be with her. She stood outside her tent, staring at the horse galloping away. For every gallop, she would feel a pound into her heart. Abbas was able to break his way into the Euphrates and was able to reach the water. He filled his bottle with water and filled his hands. While he was carrying the cold water in his hands, he remembered his brother Hussein and the woman and children at the camp dying of thirst. Abbas also hasn't had water for days. As thirsty as he was, he dropped the water in the river and refused to drink. He got back on his horse and put his bottle of water on his lap and rode towards the camp. The enemies ambushed him but Abbas fought most of them off until a coward soldier threw a stone that landed on Abbas's head. The sword fell from his hands and another one quickly approached him and hit Abbas's right arm. And then another one of Yazid's soldiers cut off his left arm. Al-Abbas, armless, he bent towards his horse trying to make it to go back to the camp to get the water to Hussein and his family. Then Ibn Sa'ad gave sign to his archers to finish off Al-Abbas. They fired arrows at the defenseless Abbas. When one arrow located his eye, and another arrow made it through it through the bottle of water spilling it. Abbas fell off his horse. Usually when a soldier falls, he lands hands first protecting his body. But Abbas had no hands to protect him and no eyes to guide him. He landed head first to the ground. The horse stood there, confused. His master wasn't taking him back to the camp. Neither was he taking him to the battlefield. Hussein heard his brother scream at the Euphrates shore. He ran searching for his brother and fought his way like a vicious lion through the enemy walls. He then found an arm. He picked it up heartbroken and kissed it. He continued and found another and did the same until he found his wounded brother laying on the hot sands of Karabakh. He got on his knees and gently put his head on his lap. Al Abbas, not able to see, said, Please, stranger, before you kill me, I wish to talk to my brother Hussein. Hussein, his heart broken into pieces, said, It is me, O Abbas. I am your brother Hussein. Now my backbone is broken and there's nothing I can do. My enemies are now satisfied to see me this way. Abbas and Salman removed his head off Hussein's lap and placed it on the ground. And then Hussein grabbed back his head and put it on his lap. Then Abbas removed his head once again and put it on the ground. Hussein asked him why is he doing that? Why was he avoiding to place his head on Hussein's lap? Abbas replied, Oh brother, you put my head on your lap, but in a few hours, who will embrace your head while you suffer? 
your head is going to be in the arms of your enemies, and it will be given to Yazid as a gift. Abbas died an honorable.